Hello students. Today we will learn about the objectives of metrology. So the basic objectives of metrology are the first objective is to provide the required accuracy at minimum cost. So to provide the required accuracy at minimum cost. So thorough evaluation of newly developed products and to ensure that the components are within specified dimensions. So thorough evaluation of newly developed product so if any product is developed newly then it has to be evaluated thoroughly or it must be the dimensions of this product must be known very clearly so for that purpose we will require metrology newly developed product And to ensure that the components are within specified dimensions. Specified dimensions. So dimensions will be already specified. So we have to check whether the product or the components of the product are within those specified dimensions or not. So that is the objective of metrology. So to determine the process capabilities. So process capabilities means to what extent this process can provide the quality or to what extent this process can give accuracy so that can be determined with the help of this metrology now to access the measuring instrument capabilities and ensure that they are adequate for their specific measurement so to access the measuring instrument capabilities measuring instrument capabilities and to and to ensure that they are adequate for for their specific measurement so when we are accessing any measuring instrument we have to ensure that that measuring instrument is adequate or is it enough for making this specific measurement so without the help of metrology this is not possible so when you are using any measuring instrument first of all we have to know its capability so if the measuring instrument is for example able to measure only 50 centimeter and if you want to measure some 80 centimeter with the help of it so it is out of the capability of this measuring instrument so we have to ensure that it is able to measure that is the capability of the measuring instrument and to ensure that they are adequate for their specific measurement now the next objective is to reduce the cost of inspection by effective and efficient utilization of available facilities so to reduce the cost of inspection by effective and efficient utilization 
utilization of available facilities. So to reduce the cost of inspection by effective and efficient utilization of available facilities with the help of metrology we can reduce the cost of inspection by using the available facilities. To reduce the cost of rejection and rework by applying statistical quality control techniques. So by applying SQC that is statistical quality control techniques we can reduce the cost of rejection and rework. So first only if you make the product according to the dimensions and it is made accurately then there may be no rework or rejection required at all. So with the help of metrology we can reduce this rework and rejection. So to reduce the cost of rejections and rework by applying statistical quality control techniques. To standardize measuring methods by proper inspection methods at a development stage itself. So at the development stage itself the measuring methods are standardized by proper inspection methods. So to maintain accuracies of measurement through periodic calibration of the measuring instrument. So if the measuring instrument is not calibrated periodically at time to time then it will not give accurate results of measurement. So metrology's objective is to calibrate these instruments to get accurate result. Then to prepare design for gauges and special inspection fixtures. So metrology deals with designing new gauges and special measuring fixtures or special inspection fixtures. So these are the main objectives of metrology. So I hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.